I want to offer you a very uh, simple marma sequence that you can do whenever you are feeling a little fatigued or if you're um, feeling like you're not as mentally focused as you need to be or even when you are um, feeling the, the onset of a headache. So marma is an amazing energy system that um, consists of some energy points that we have throughout our body. We have 107 of them um, on our physical body and we have one more which is the mind. So in total there's 108 of these points and these points what they, what they do is that they serve as entryways um, to the 72,000 nadis or channels that we have uh, throughout the whole body. And these channels, they carry prana um, in 72,000 different directions. And ultimately what happens is um, there's a, a, a connection between mind and body. So these, these channels are, are really, really important for carrying um, this energy. And what happens like uh, with, with other kinds of channels is that the, they get blocked. So um, we experience a lot of um, energy blocks in the form of, they manifest in different ways. One of the ways is um, deep-rooted emotions that come up um, now and then they're like really stuck in our subconscious and they 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 pop up unexpectedly or perhaps uh, chronic pain or just patterns negative patterns that keep showing up and a lot of times we don't we don't really know why um, we can't explain where they come from and they they mostly are because of the, the energy is not, the prana is not flowing through the body. The chakras are uh, the main central channel. Um, so so that uh, gives you an idea of how the energy travels. So by accessing the different marma points, they serve as little um, nudges to this, to the, to these vessels of energy. So you, you lightly activate them. Um, there's different ways to access them, but one of the, 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 the key ways is um, just through some acupressure. So we use our, our fingers to lightly um, activate them and send the prana through the body. So we have several of the points on our head and our, and our neck. So um, that's what I'm, I'm going to show you today. So we'll start by just massaging our scalp. The, there are some marma points um, located on the, on the head, on the scalp. Um, the sutures of the skull are considered one marma point. So just by massaging your scalp, you can, you know, access them. It's very, very relaxing. Um, and you can do this either, you can be sitting, you can be lying down, um, you can even do it in your car. So, um, it's nice to, um, to massage the head and access the points on the, on the scalp. So, um, the main points on the head are right on the, on the top, on the crown. So it's like, if you, if you trace your fingers from your ears to where they meet in the middle, that's um, Adipati, the crown, the crown chakra, um, and the, the, the name of that marma point is Adipati. So you can use your, um, you can use any finger, whatever is comfortable for you. I usually use my index finger, so you just place it on that point. Um, you can gently apply pressure or you can do little circles, uh, clockwise and counterclockwise, or just stay um, on that point. We want to stay about anywhere between half a minute to a minute. And as you do that, you can 
close your eyes and take some breaths. The next point is right on the back of the skull, um, like if you were to uh, put a, a ponytail up there, um, it would be right. So it's about halfway from the base of the skull and the crown. Again, you're tracing and then where your fingers meet at that, at that point. So again, just applying some light pressure. Thirty or um, thirty or sixty seconds. The next points are located right at the base of the skull, where those little dents are. And you can. Um, what I usually do is I I uh, use all fingers and just place them there and just let my head drop back. So the fingers are used as a a, a cradle, but the those as you tilt your head back those. Um, the fingers are, are kind of, um, you know, applying pressure right on the groove of the skull. Mm, this feels really good. <laughs> In between those two grooves, if you, if you trace from, um, from that, from the bump on your, on the base of your neck up to where your skull begins, there's another there's another groove right in the center of the skull, and um, that's also a point that you can just put your finger in there and press um, into it. That is really good for um, releasing any pressure in the head. So if you have the onset of a headache, this can be really helpful. Any of the points on the on the head will help um, just with relaxation, with um, resetting, kind of resetting the, the mind. Um, if you have, as I said, like mental fatigue, even if you if you um, feel a little bit of a, you know, if your if your mood is a little low, the points can help to to just really elevate the mood. Then we can move on to the face. There's one <clears throat> right at the in the center of um, of the head, like um, right at along the hairline. So again, if you're tracing from the ears to that point in the center where the fingers meet, so you can just. Use a little bit of pressure. You can also put some essential oils on your fingers um, as you work on the points. That's really nice um, if you're doing this at night before bed, if you wanna use something like um, lavender or clary sage, um, an essential oil that can just be really relaxing. Um, that's also a nice, a nice um, addition to this uh, routine. So from there, we can move down to the temples. So this temple, this, this is probably something that we all um, do at some point and probably didn't know that it was a, that it's a marma point. And um, you can also move to right at the tip of your ear and where your jaw, your jaw bone ends. <clears throat> can, that's a really good place. You can open and close the jaw also. And we have one right also at the right behind the ear. So if you, if you kind of bend the ear lobe, it would be right in there. Like where, um, if you wear glasses, that's right where your glasses sit. Um, <clears throat> sometimes for me, if I wear my mask for too long, it really like starts pressing into that point and I, um, it starts giving me a headache, ironically, because it's a, it's a pretty powerful point. 
So these are some of the uh, points along the, the head and the face. Uh, it's always good to, to do it in a, in a quiet, you know, a quiet place and just give yourself some time. As I said, afterwards, you just want to close your eyes and, and do some breath and enjoy the, um, the boost that the, that the Marma therapy gave you. So I hope this has been helpful and um, enjoy 